Hello guys, we finally got it, the new version of ZBrush 4 R8 and I want to show you just some new features, mainly the live boolean and of course how to use the new gizmo. So let me start with a new document, open the lightbox and select the Dynamesh sphere. Okay, here in the subtools you can see my polysphere. And now let me enable the gizmo for that we have all waited so long. And let me show you what we can do with this. I selected move and of course now I can move the object around. Now let me scale the object. You can scale this for all directions, for all axes. Or you can use this icon here to scale it for this axis or this one. So very easy, very intuitive, as you might know it from other applications. But you can also clip the object when you hold the control key down and then scale. And look at this, it is clipped here on the left side. And you can do the same thing for the right side. You again select this scale icon and pull the mouse to the other side, to the left side, and it is clipped here on the right side. Really cool feature. Okay, now let's come to rotation. This is this ring of the gizmo. Just select it and drag with the mouse or with your tablet to rotate it. And when you hold the shift key down while rotating, it rotates in five degree steps. And this can come in really handy. All right, what you can also do with the gizmo is when you hold the alt key down, you will unlock it. This means you change, for example, the rotation or the position without affecting the transform of the object. I rotated the gizmo for example here by 45 degrees and now I'm able to move my object in a diagonal direction. And one little hidden feature of the scaling is that you can hold the control key down and scale and you can inflate your object by that. Okay, but now let's come to the live boolean operations, which is really awesome. I enabled this with this button here and then I'm appending a new subtool a cylinder and I use the gizmo again to scale it and rotate it just to find a good position to apply a boolean operation. Alright, and now I set it to be subtracted and I have my live boolean enabled and look at this. But this is not applied, this is a non-destructive boolean operation. I can select my object and move it around and you directly see the result of the operation. I can also go ahead and duplicate this cylinder. And then I move it and the new shape could look like this. I really love this feature and I think you can see that the possibilities are kind of endless. Now let's append a new one, perhaps a more complicated shape. Yeah, like this gear for example. Okay, then I rotate it scale it up a little bit and bring it to the center. Okay, and then I will again subtract it. Yeah, quite nice. Great, now let me come to a new feature. This is deformations or the deformer. I will use a primitive this time and then I select my gizmo again because you can reach this feature from the properties or the settings of the gizmo. Here this little icon. And here's the deformer and when I select it, a kind of cage for the object is generated. And it has some settings, for example, the number of segments you have per axis. 
you can set the smoothness value for the deformation and you can define if the deformation is applied in a symmetrical way or not. When I drag one of these dots you can see how the object is deformed and with symmetry enabled the deformation is done here either in parallel or mirrored mode. Ok, that's the first way to do this, just dragging these dots and deforming the object in that way. But there's a different way and I want to show you, so I reset this now. It's possible to select, for example, just a few of these dots. You hold the Ctrl and Alt key pressed, then you draw a selection and then you can use your gizmo and move it to get a deformation like that here. You could also use the rotation or scale as you like. Alright, and when you're happy with your deformation, you press this little gear icon to come back to the menu, press accept, and the deformation is applied, and here is your new geometry. Alright, here's another one, reachable from the same menu, and this is called the Extender. So what can you do with that? Well, as the name implies, you can extend your object. This means you can insert a loop of polygons along an axis. And you can also define, as for the previous deformer, if this operation should be symmetrical. Okay, now I extend it just in one direction without symmetry. And I will also add edge loops here for this axis. And what you can do now is you can move these edge loops along the model by dragging this blue dot. And the result can be really interesting shapes. And the last thing I want to show you is that you can define the size of the outer parts by dragging this little icon here. And this looks really interesting. I don't know what it is, but it's interesting. Okay guys, now let's assume that you have this hat here without ears. It's a Dynamesh. And I cut off the ears. Sorry. But we are able to insert new ones by using the IMM body part brushes. So select an ear. Okay, and then you can drag it onto the model. And I want this ears and head to be one Dynamesh. But the problem could be that there are some holes between the ears and the head. And I'll make use of the new gizmo to position the ears in a way that no holes exist. So I use move and rotate till there are no noticeable holes anymore. And once I'm done I will dynamesh this to one object by wiping with the mouse over an empty area of the viewport. I think you know this technique. Okay, now I dynameshed and I can continue sculpting in new stuff.
Okay, now the last one. This is also great. These are insert brushes for boolean operations created by Joseph Trust. Select it by pressing the B button and then IMM boolean. And then choose a brush. Yeah, for example, this one. And you can drag it onto the model like a normal insert brush. And here comes a cool trick to use this for live boolean operations. You can see that everything is masked except these insertions and then you can select split unmasked points. After that these parts will be a new subtool. Define it to be subtracted. Then enable live boolean and with the gizmo you can move this new subtool to see the preview of the live boolean operation. And as before, you can make a boolean mesh out of that. Okay guys, I really hope you liked the video and my channel. And if you do, then please subscribe to be sure not to miss a future tutorial. Thanks a lot for watching and for your support. See you soon on JNM.